this is our phonics as we can see in front of us we have four logic gates okay we have the AND gate we have OR gate we have NO gate and ZOR gate right so these gates are having two inputs with one output okay so we name this input A and B but also Mr. A and B these are the truth tables okay so the truth table for AND gate up to ZOR gate right so it means that when the input is 0 0 the output is 0 when it is 0 1 the output is still zero and when it is one zero it is still zero when it is one one this thing will be happy it gives one right now let us go for all gate all gate when it is zero zero it is zero when it is zero one it is one when it is one zero it is still one right when it is one one it is still one then let's come to the no gate for the no gate we see when it is zero zero it is one when it is one zero it will go to zero when it is one one then it is still zero okay now we come to the zero gate okay for the zero gate if you give zero zero it is zero when you give zero one it will give you one when you give one zero it will give you one when you give one one it will give you zero okay so with this we want to design an ic okay an ic that will be using this logic gate and give the input okay just two inputs to the ic and it will show us the output just as follows okay so with that let us go straight into another schematic capture now welcome to schematic capture uh, and if you haven't subscribed to Aphonics yet smash that red button and click the bell so that we'll go along peacefully okay so if you've done that thank you for subscribing to Aphonics so first we hit on straight to the sub circuit click on it go to default click and drag like this so we have this nice component okay now we need input to, okay but first let us give the power and then we give ground on the left hand side okay now we take two inputs as we know we'll be using two inputs and then we need four output so we click on output now we can now find to make this one looks nicely like an ic we come to this to the graphic mode click on it now you click here try to design it nicely like this good then we go out to selection mode click on this circuit inside right click go to edit properties then go to edit style now you take the color to dark and this other that is the figure color take it to dark now i said for this this graphics only all right so it looks nice now let us zoom in a little bit good then we have to go for this arc and arc mode so that we will call a nice arc here so go to arc good now we have we can then go to selection mode click this go to edit properties to dark do the same thing for this now our IC is now looking nice okay now next is to give um, this the pin we have to identify the pin let us name this as pin 1 and likewise pin 2 pin 3 pin 4 pin 5 pin 6 pin 7 pin 8 eh? 
So. All right. So next, you right click, then you go to child sheet. Okay, click on it. Now it's here we are going to do our logic how it's going to be embedded into the IC. Okay. Now you go to this component mode. Now we have four gates to search for and no and or no and zero so gate. So we'll search for them. Then from here we've set our logic gates. So we go to this terminal mode. From terminal mode, we need input into this gate. So we click on input. We need two, just two input. Okay. Now then also we need output to this gate. So we are going to have four output. Click on this output. Put it here. So it's time for us to connect. Now it's time for us to label our parts. And we know that from the IC pin, the input pins are pin three, pin two and pin three. First input pin two and the second input is pin three. So the output will be from pin five to pin eight. So let us label them. So we are done so you right click in the side then you say exit to parent sheet then you click on it so our IC is now set okay these are the input pin 1 uh, pin 2 and pin 3 and these other ones are the output this is ground and then this is the power okay now it's for us to see the output how it will display right so let us go to um, component mode let us select our type for logic state. Okay, good. That will be the input, and then let us put for logic probe here. Probe, take this big. Okay. So we're using the logic probe as the output. Click on it. All right. So the logic state will be serving as the input. Okay. Now let's find our ground. Go to terminal. Ground. Okay. So it's now time for us to connect. Alright, now we change, let us change this label. Let me change it to Afronix. Okay, good. So I want to put um, a mark on this IC to name this IC. So come to this, to the graphic text mode, then click inside. I want it to call A0001. That is Afronix, the first IC. Okay. Now you, we have to let us make it two. Okay. Now let us find the color. Let us change the color to white. Good. So say okay. Go to selection mode. Click on this one. You can right click and then rotate it clockwise. Now you can bring it at the center. Okay. So here it is. So now we have our IC set and this is the this is for the AND gate, this is for OR gate, this is for NOR gate and this is for ZOR gate. So now let us run the circuit and see how it works. If you run. Now let us see. This the input are zero zero. So zero zero means zero zero. This one zero zero. This one is one one and then this one is zero zero so let us now take zero one zero one is zero 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 one is one 
this is the one and then we have zero one is zero is zero zero one is one here is one so now let us take one zero one zero yeah one zero is zero zero one zero is one 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 zero is zero zero one zero is one it's one see it's on okay now let us go to one one here one one is one 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 is one 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 is zero zero and one one is zero zero so guys this is what we have done you have created your own ic nice looking ic like this one of which you can use it to reduce the number of gates into your project it may be a mini project or a major project this will be very helpful so this is what i have for you thank you for watching this video